Hello and welcome to the lighthouse. Uh, I'm missing some people I just noticed. Things aren't as neat as it was previously. I got spaces and I have two little plants that are in the window. So <laughs> don't mind the gaps. Don't mind the extra stuff. Again, I, I need to organize my life. It would seem. But anyway, this is going to be the uh, rest of the month of September reading for fire signs. I'm going to say this first because because of the way that I did the earth signs, I, I, I need to be even and follow through with, with the re remainder. But I don't think I'm going to do the same overview message for, for everybody again because again I ended up uploading the the other signs separately as opposed to having one big movie for, with a timestamp. I just made things more complicated for myself because now I have to do extra editing by adding in the same overview message for for everybody. So again, I have to resave it as its own movie. But again, we 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 live and learn. We can't hold on to regrets of approaches that we've taken to, to certain things. And perhaps this is the theme as we have forgiveness here for for the Scorpio. Uh, I mean Scorpio Leo, which is who I'm going to read first. But again. Let me read the overview. L look, we're, we're not perfect over here. So again, I'm going to read the overview, which is basically this and these two cards. And then you're going to see a cut. And then again, I'm going to do everybody individually. But let us read this first. By the book. See what we got. This is again for fire signs for the rest of the month, this overview. Essential meanings, abiding by social rules, conformity, respecting cultural or family customs, and universal laws. The Oracle's message, the universe works within a structure of divine laws and principles that provide the framework for human experience and evolution. The law of abundance, the law of prayer, the law of karma, the law of attraction, the law of thought, the law of compensation, and the law of nature are only a few that are known. These principles create perfect order and operate from a kind of precision beyond human understanding. Even revolution has its place in universal law. Human beings in turn have their own laws and customs that vary from culture to culture and family to family. Laws keep social order and govern behavior. That's another video. Reflecting uh, an instinctive understanding that harmony is important. This is the time to learn these laws and conform to them rather than being the rebel and flouting them. When this card appears, submit to structure and follow the rules even if they seem to make no sense. Release resistance for universal laws will correct any disharmony. Open your eyes to those universal laws and it will be easier to go by the book at this time. And again, that depends on who wrote that shit. <laughs> what book you talking about? Listen. Like I talked about, that's another video. Yeah, that's a zero video. If we're going to talk about how people are trying to govern behavior and keep social order. And if you know what I'm saying... So again, this could be talking about world events and how, again, cause and effect. We reap what we sow, and the choices we make today will affect our tomorrows. Again, this is the law of karma, right? Which again is why these people know that you have to have people's cooperation and consent to be free from the repercussions of karma. 
And why is every time I start a video, somebody out there has to be making some kind of noise? Why? Whether it's just some construction or some truck or some. Ah, but listen. The sound of the birds is coming out. And the noise gets further away. So perhaps this is a sign that all things pass with time. It's how or why we need to release that which is temporary. To allow for. Exactly. So again, I don't know which book we're talking about here, but the but the book, like I said, cause and effect, reaping what we sow. You know, what you allow continues. If we're talking on the global scale kind of situation, and thus. Chaos ensues. But as I said, we, we can't get into too much of that here. Because there are eyes and ears everywhere looking to silence those that speak truth. Relationship message, getting along with others entails understanding and respecting who they have become as a result of their environment, culture, and experience. Find the middle ground that allows the relationship to flourish while honoring the individuality of the other person. Play things by the book instead of trying to break the rules or pressure others to conform to the way you want, the way you want to do them. Oh, that must be rules. <laughs> they were talking about like doing the person. And I was like, wait a minute, what, this, this, that doesn't make really any sense. <laughs> okay. Your connection will deepen as a result. Again. Indeed, we can't change people. People have a hard enough time trying to change themselves. But at the same time, not dealing with situations or people that refuse to change. And in that scenario, you know, you always have to change your, your role to meet your standard so that you don't compromise yourself by dealing with other people's whatever it is. Always making sure we have healthy boundaries and say, hey, you do you. Don't tell me how to do me. And and we shouldn't, again, force our beliefs because, again, we've got a lot of that going on here. And sometimes, even if I, we have the best of intentions, it's like talking to walls. Or, again, people are far into their conditioning where they ain't even trying to hear anything you've got to say. And in these instances, again, Oh, you know, there's only so much you can do. Can't change people. Can't force them to whatever it is. We can give the information and, and leave it, leave it alone. And then again, if the other person or whatever it is isn't showing up or on the same page, we got to keep it moving. Right? Again, everybody's a product of their conditioning, but, but when people refuse to move beyond their conditioning, this is when decisions need to be made to move, move, move away from these people. Prosperity message. At this time, you can expect a return on your investment. Whatever you have pursued, be it a dream you've long cherished, a skill you've cultivated, or a service you're called to, will come to you if you are willing to go by the book, you don't need to reinvent the wheel to be successful. Follow in the footsteps of others who have already achieved the things you're striving for. You can learn a lot by observing the structures 
that are already working. Their creative projects and commitment to prosperity are in alignment with the needs of the world. But impatience may tempt you to cut corners to get there more quickly. Stick with what you know works, and you will attract abundance. So there may be some some things are coming from from efforts that have been consistently made towards achieving something, whether that be a, a, a project or a career or a whatever it is. Even investing in our own healing, perhaps are bringing in new opportunities to test our sea legs with new people. Protection message, now is the time for a real change in consciousness as you are incited to revolt. Challenge the structures that are limiting authentic progress. It is not enough to rebel in small ways. This is a call to revolution. Exactly. Focus on what you really want to achieve, regardless of whether it feels so far outside the box that the established order may reject it. Genius, invention, and transformation are rarely comfortable and less likely to be accepted by the mainstream. It may be time for you to say no to the way of your group. Take a stand and make real changes. That's what I'm talking about. It could be that the structure of your inner world is alerting you to the need for a complete overhaul. This is a time for transformation, so let go of the fear of change. Your intuition will lead you through the darkness. There is no turning back now. Ain't that right? Trust that the light will dawn. Epiphanies will surely lead to miracles. There you have it. And for some, there needs to be some waking up and smelling the coffee. Perhaps we already have, or we're wishing other people would. Especially society at large, because a lot of people are sleeping. And they're going to get a big wake up call. Oof. Open your eyes and accept the truth of your situation. Again, this could be. Something you've already done, something you're currently doing, something you need to do, or something you're wishing other people would do. Or maybe somebody else realized something in regards to you. Who knows? Maybe a little of everything. And then we have obsession isn't just a cologne. Give it a rest. Sheesh. Clinging, ruminating thoughts, chasing that which constantly eludes us, or over-investing in something or someone that offers no return. Toxic behaviors, addictions to people, situations, or ways of being could also be a sign of codependency. Right? Watch out for those old behavior patterns sneaking in. Don't be chasing nobody. Don't be clinging. Try not to drive oneself crazy. By overanalyzing, or again, putting our emotions into people or situations that are stressing, out, stressing us out, right? Try to, again, fo focus on the self, working on yourself, working again on your projects that very well may have some possibility if we, you know, keep, keep, keep it going. Keep your head in the direction that you're, you're, you're going in here, right? And again, this can go inside with this. You know, some people have, have seen the light and they're not trying to deal with anything like this ever again, right? Not trying to chase nobody. Because again, once you've healed that energy, you'll notice that... Where certain things where you used to have a, a completely different reaction, yeah, that's how you know you've healed. When you're not tempted to fall back into this, I need to jump through hoops and prove myself. I, I you know what, you know, chasing after people or I mean, you get you get over that shit. You're like, look, been there, done that. I've been woke up to that shit. Exactly. You know, I got time for that. 
If people ain't gonna show up, if people ain't gonna look, can't be, especially not in this time. It's like, uh, you know, Apocalypto will be, and ain't nobody got time to be chasing nobody. You can do better. Keep it moving. Exactly. This is what we're needing to always keep in mind. Right? Know when to hold them, know when to fold them. Know when to walk away, know when to run. Know when to play things by the book, know when to be outside the box. Ass assessing each individual situation and, and, and figure out again what's, wa what's waste of t our time, what is things that we need to not, not let that hamster in the wheel on certain thought processes and again being awake and alert or again wishing other people would. You know, so this that that's it for the overview, and that's again going to be for everybody. So we're going to stop it here, and then I'll get into the individuals. Hello, this is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, River might be in your chart, but those are the main ones. And again, this is going to be for the rest of the month of September. Now, let us start. I didn't shuffle these to, to have reversals, but this one came out reverse. So, I mean, I'll go over both, but I left it um, as it came out. Four of Pentacles reversed, and then Prince of Swords, which is the Knight of Swords. Now, again, reverse means greed, materialism, protecting oneself, you know, being stingy, haunted by fear of poverty, right? Uh, defensive, self-protective, material-wise and emotional-wise. Fear, fear of opening up or, or, or fear of trusting people, right? Self-protective. I already said that, right? Um, keeping a tight rein on one's cash or spending too much and need to get a better hold of our finances, right? Spending more time on our, our material goals than, than our relationships. Or a need to examine what, what you may need to give up so that you can may have more energy available for developing personal relationships. Again, trying to have that balance. Stepping out of one's comfort zone. You know, or an important step in your personal development. Whatever whatever this is that we're we either releasing or meeting to release or afraid of something here. The Knight of Swords can be, you know, it's very fast at acting. It's communication, whether that's coming in or coming from you. It's also, you know, trying to charge forward. Rushing in without any regard for the dangers that one might encounter, like one and one to be careful with that, right? Or failing to see our difficulties or, or consequences of our actions. It's an energy that needs to be balanced with our re with realizations again of, of responsibilities or, or about a need for compassion. Again, because one can be very harsh with one's words if this is coming in in an aggressive kind of a way. It's about hastiness, lacking foresight or prep, uh, preparation. 
may need to consider the needs of others as one pursues their own goals. Again, especially if there's an imbalance somehow in relationships. Or maybe looking to cut corners in some way. It's also about intellect, inspiration, quick to take action, new projects or ideas. So again, I don't know if one's needing to get out of their comfort zone and pursue some kind of idea that they have or action that they need to take and not let fear hold them back. Needing to be wise again in whatever actions that we do take, you know, plan. We're needing to let go of, again, harsh judgments of others, the way we think about something. Or we're searching for some kind of truth before we, again, open up to something. Or again, we're fine trying to find a way to deal with our money situation. So yeah, it could be all kinds of things. It's just it's just two cards. Many scenarios. Let us see what we have up here. Don't let your past hold you back. South know. So again, this is where the fear can come into play. Afraid of opening up. You know. Maybe we're afraid of, of rushing into anything because of past things. Prosperity lies ahead. And then meditate and contemplate. New moon in Pisces. So uh, isn't there a new moon in Pisces coming up? I think. I'm not, because I know some things astrology, but I always recommend watching other people that do astrology too, and not just tarot stuff, because it really, they go hand in hand. Divine Debut 11, she's somebody that I watch. Um, Varouche is another person on the, on, the, on the tube who does astrology stuff. Of course, Leo King does astrology stuff. Um, rock and Roll Tarot. I think it's another person that does astrology stuff. But it's good, again, to check on that because, again, these things play a role in how we feel, how, you know, what, what's how other people are acting in, in, in society. Because everything is on this never-moving cosmic time thing. And the more we know about that kind of stuff, it will help us to better understand the bigger picture, the journey itself, and why people are acting a fool or whatever it is. Why we're acting a fool. <laughs> right? So check that out. See what's going on for New Moon and Pisces. Maybe there's something that you're reflecting on or something's going to happen around that time. But we're obviously we're needing to allow ourselves freedom to move forward because prosperity lies ahead. If we can let go of something or step out of comfort zones. Not rushing into anything, but just, you know. Let's see here. 
We want think first. This is your cognitive behavioral therapy. Thoughts are not facts. We often assume our thoughts are simply observations about what is true. I'm pathetic or nobody cares about me can feel as real as the sky is blue. Be on the lookout today for interpretations you're making about yourself, others, or the world. Realize that these things are stories your mind has created that may or may not be true. So again, we're having some kind of thoughts here. And perhaps we're needing to see that they may not all be legit. And we're needing to get out of our fears and take some action. Observe your morning thoughts. Place a pen and notebook next to your bed along with this card. When you wake up tomorrow, take a few minutes to observe the thoughts that greet the day. What are their focus and their tone? How hopeful or pessimistic are they? Write down what you notice. How might your thoughts be setting the stage for how your day will go? If you like, choose another card. Well, you won't be able to because you don't have one. But the other information, you may take for it. Let's see here another one. Think. What are the odds? When you're worried about something bad happening today, think about how likely that outcome really is. How often has it happened before? Are there more likely outcomes? Most of the time, the things we worry about never end up happening. So the anxiety we experience causes us unnecessary suffering, especially if we're allowing something to hold us back. Right? We would need to chill out and, you know, bathe in awareness. Open to the full experience of taking a bath or shower today. You might notice the sound of running water, its temperature, how it feels on your body, the scent of the soap and shampoo, or even the points of contact between your body and the tub or stall. Let your attention be very light, effortless, as it rests in awareness of each moment. Don't you have your best thoughts in the shower? Come up with all kinds of ideas. Or, because you're in a relaxed state, for the most part. You know, when you're in there enjoying, or not when it's like, you know, trying to jump in and out five seconds. You're not really, you're probably rattling off in your mind all, all the things that you're going to do when you get out of the shower. But when you're able to just be in there or just take a bath or something and just relax, it's nice. This is the second time this card came out. I think it came out for Leo? Somebody. Perhaps in, in, enjoy a nice bath and try to meditate and contemplate. And you have meditation again. Sit comfortably in a quiet place and set a timer for three minutes. Allow your eyes to close. Bring your attention lightly to the breath. Feeling your belly rise and fall with each cycle. When your mind wanders, as it surely will, just gently bring it back to the breath without self-criticism. Release any expectations of what should happen. As you meditate, simply be with the breath. Act now. Think of one thing you really wanted to do that you've put on hold, like writing that book. Finding a better job or starting to date. Perhaps you've told yourself that it won't be the right time until you feel better, aren't so busy, are less anxious, and so forth. If you're able to do it now, then why wait for the perfect time? Choose to take the first step today. This is the thing where perhaps, again, the, the not having a balance in our lives and this is perhaps encouraging one to not just be a workaholic. If that's your situation too. I don't know. Everybody's got different. This is general. Plan rewarding activities. Write down three activities you would like to do more often. That bring you enjoyment and or a sense of accomplishment. Plan a specific time in your calendar to do one of these activities each day for the next three days. 
Notice any effects these activities have on your emotions. Spread joy. Think of someone in your life whom you care about deeply. What's the one thing you could do for them today that would make their life better? It could be something small like make them a cup of tea or doing one of their chores. Since feelings often follow action, don't wait until you feel like doing it. Lead with action and see what happens. So there you have your therapies. And we've done these. Now let's have third eye chakra. It is safe for you to see the energy of love in all its forms, such as angels, auras, and visions. Earth Angel, you are a light worker who has come to Earth to teach about love. Oh, so maybe again we're needing to take some action in regards to a calling. But maybe we're letting fears hold us back. Maybe we're not thinking we have what it takes to do something in this field as far as spiritual stuff but maybe you have a calling shield yourself protect yourself from harsh or fear-based energies by envisioning a cocoon of healing light surrounding you light and love your purpose is to bring divine healing light and love to this world see see perhaps you have a calling sensitivity you're becoming more sensitive and need to make changes accordingly. So again, so maybe we don't make any rash decisions. So we don't be like the Knight of Swords. Builder. Your innate ability to build and create brings you a deep sense of accomplishment. Blessings. Today I count my blessings small and large, and I notice the new gifts that come to me from God. So again, maybe we got some, some new things happening here. Prosperity lies ahead. Perhaps something's coming in. Prayer. Instead of worrying, I pray about the situation to bring about real solutions. Gratitude. As I notice the and appreciate my blessings, I open the door to more of God's gifts. Life Review Archangel Jeremiel, take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. And that's perhaps where the Four, Swords, uh, four of Pentacles comes in. Something is not balanced. Divine Order Archangel Ragro. Ragwell? Ragro. Something like that. Everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and start and see underlying order. Spiritual understanding. Archangel Raziel. I am bringing you esoteric information and symbols and helping you understand spiritual truths. See? There's some, there's some kind of. Definitely got some spiritual something going on here. Again, maybe it's a calling. Let's look. Oh, we got prayer. Solar plexus. And confusion. Crap. We don't know what to do, where to go. We don't know what to ask for. We don't know if our prayers are going to be answered. Let's see. Inspiration. Cool lemonade. That's the picture there. Cool lemonade is a reminder that there is always a plan. If you were sidetracked from your path, then you will be guided back to your true calling. See? Personal inquiry. If my most powerful thoughts are a form of prayer, how can I live in an active prayer? Key idea is all prayers are answered follow, following where life leads, being of service, fulfillment. Keywords, clarity, destiny, and authenticity. And 
and confusion. Every silver lining has a cloud. It's the opposite. She doesn't look too happy in this picture either. Spirit's like, look. Don't be so upset, will you? Inspiration. Through the willingness to be in confusion, we find clarity. There's nothing to solve. Meditation and quiet time will bring clarity. Personal inquiry. Can I see confusion as a good thing? Can I learn to let go of needing an immediate outcome? Key ideas allowing confusion, spiritual support, consequences of actions, and finding love. Key words are clarity, support, and revelation. Perhaps things will be revealed. In one's dreams, perhaps. Third eye chakra. Dreams are where your mind translates the divine. Perhaps again, it's following a dream one has. Not letting fear hold you back. You have a calling in some spiritual something. Crown chakra. Divinity. Recognize the divine in the mirror. Chakra balance. Harmony makes the song of life sweeter. And there's some stones here, green jasper, turquoise, and labradorite. Perhaps those will help balance the chakras. Crown chakra, oneness, you are part of the universe and always will be. Indeed. Let's see if we've got some woes we got to work on. Healing anger. A lot of people get opportunities that I'll never get. People are potential adversaries. So again, we feel some kind of way about our life situations. Careers, money, look. I empathize. With the help of a loving friend or skillful guide, I now unearth my unique creativity and give birth to it in a supportive community. So again, there must be some kind of something here. You can do it. This one is healthy relationships. I won't be loved or accepted if I get angry or sad. This is when we hold things in because we fear how other people will respond. Until a time comes when that volcano blows and then watch out. So we should not hold things in. We should always try to find constructive ways to speak our minds and not be afraid. Whatever the hell anybody's going to think or feel or whatever. I express my emotions openly, willingly, and skillfully. Yes, again, skillfully. You know, try to say in a gentle way whatever it is you got to say. If people still don't like it, again, can't please everybody. Still got to be upfront. Say it like it is. It's a, life is a jungle. You know what I'm saying? But my future is glorious. You can't see nothing because it's so dark. <sighs> I now live in limitless love, light, and joy. All is well in my world. Uh, you can't even see. Again, it is, I apologize. I need to just perhaps just do these in the day. I am deeply fulfilled by all that I do. Each moment of the day is special to me as I follow my higher instincts and listen to my heart. I am at peace with my world and affairs. I love life. It is my birthright to live fully and freely. I give to life exactly what I want life to give to me. And I am glad to be alive. I love life. 
And then what a time to be alive it is. Oof. <laughs> but we now must go beyond other people's fears and limitations, including our own. As we have here, don't let fear hold you back. It is my mind that creates my experiences, and I am unlimited in my own ability to create the good in my life. And then we have some messages for the inner child. I am confident. I'm going to try something that pushes me to step outside of my comfort zones today. Again, perhaps again, it's pursuing this, whatever it is. I am mindful. I'm going to sit still, engage my, my uh, five senses, and describe how I feel in this moment. I am grateful. I'm going to list three things I am grateful for today. Then let us grab some messages from... The elephant. Celebration. Integrity. Doing, doing the right thing for the right reason. Doing what is right for you. Understanding. Perhaps celebrating that we now have an understanding about what is right for us. And then, if you have any romantic interests, let us see what the romance advice is for Aries for the rest of September, for those dealing with romantic situations. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. And reconciliation. Someone from the past is returning to your life. Oof. Not a lot, not a lot of past situations that are resurfacing. Could be also past life, but new in this one. Who knows? Maybe it's someone you'll meet through your new work endeavors. And if you have someone again and they would like to dedicate a song to you, what would that song be? Spirit of for the romantic interests of, of Aries people. If that romantic person could dedicate a song, what would it be? What song would be dedicated for Aries for the rest of September? For their romantic interests. What song? Oh. Love and Happiness by Al Green. <laughs> Billy Jean. <laughs> Who's a Billy Jean? Somebody got a Billy Jean. Someone wondering if they got somebody got a Billy Jean or someone's afraid to open up because they think somebody might be a Billy Jean. I don't know what. Billy Jean, whenever that card pops out, it could be, you know, something's going on. Whether, again, it's our own fears, or someone who thinks somebody is, someone thinks you are, or you, you're afraid somebody else is going to be, or, again, dealing with somebody who got one, or you have one, and these baby mama, baby, whatever these things are here. Or wondering if people be after you just for your money. Who knows? Everybody's got their stuff. 
Love Me in a Special Way by DeBarge. Throw Your Arms Around the World by U2. In a Whole New World by Peebo Bryson and Regina Bell. If somebody's on some Disney, a whole new world, floating on the carpet, looking for, as they're floating through the clouds, they a whole new world. <laughs> Classic. I love how this, this stuff just comes together, right? Would you like a few more? Your reading was very, seems like, went very fast. I feel like, I'm, am I missing something? I don't think so. But it just feels fast. Any other love messages? Not as well. Again, because I feel, oh, that's way too many. And we have a love messages for the Aries people, for the rest of the... And can you tell it's late night? We are a little pooped out. Any more? Yellow by Coldplay. And on that note, as I'm fading out, I wish you luck in whatever this is. And until next time, take care. Bye-bye.